Gloucester, Massachusetts. Gloucester slash LSTR slash is a city on Cape Ann in Essex County, Massachusetts, in the United States. It is part of Massachusetts North Shore. The population was 28,789 at the 2010 U.S. Census. An important center of the fishing industry and a popular summer destination, Gloucester consists of an urban core on the north side of the harbor and the outlying neighborhoods of Annesquim, Bayview, Lanesville, Folly Cove, Magnolia, Riverdale, East Gloucester, and West Gloucester. The boundaries of Gloucester originally included the town of Rockport, in an area dubbed Sandy Bay. That village separated formally on February 27, 1840. In 1873, Gloucester was reincorporated as a city. Gloucester was founded at Cape Ann by an expedition called the Dorchester Company of Men from Dorchester chartered by James I in 1623. It was one of the first English settlements in what would become the Massachusetts Bay Colony, and predates both Salem in 1626 and Boston in 1630. The first company of pioneers made landing at Half Moon Beach and settled nearby, setting up fishing stages in a field in what is now Stage Fort Park. This settlement's existence is proclaimed today by a memorial tablet, affixed to a 50-foot boulder in that park. Life in this first settlement was harsh and it was short-lived. Around 1626 the place was abandoned, and the people removed themselves to Nomkeg, where more fertile soil for planting was to be found. The meeting house was even disassembled and relocated to the new place of settlement. At some point in the following years, though no record exists, the area was slowly resettled. The town was formally incorporated in 1642. It is at this time that the name Gloucester first appears on tax rolls, although in various spellings. The town took its name from the city of Gloucester in southwest England, perhaps from where many of its new occupants originated but more likely because Gloucester, England, was a parliamentarian stronghold, successfully defended with the aid of the Earl of Essex against the King in the Siege of Gloucester of 1643. This new permanent settlement focused on the town green area, an inlet in the marshes at a bend in the Annesquam River. This area is now the site of Grand Circle, a large traffic rotary at which Massachusetts Route 128 mingles with a major city street. Here the first permanent settlers built a meeting house and therefore focused the nexus of their settlement on the island for nearly 100 years. Unlike other early coastal towns in New England, development in Gloucester was not focused around the harbor as it is today, rather it was inland that people settled first. This is evidenced by the placement of the town green nearly two miles from the harbor front. The town green is also where the settlers built the first school. By Massachusetts Bay Colony law, any town boasting 100 families or more had to provide a public schoolhouse. This requirement was met in 1698, with Thomas Riggs standing as the town's first schoolmaster. The White Ellery House was erected in 1710 upon the town green. It was built at the edge of a marsh for Gloucester's first settled minister, the Reverend John White. Early industry included subsistence farming and logging. Because of the poor soil and rocky hills, Cape Ann was not well suited for farming on a large scale. Small family farms and livestock provided the bulk of the sustenance to the population. Fishing, for which the town is known today, was limited to close to shore, with families subsisting on small catches as opposed to the great bounties yielded in later years. The fishermen of Gloucester did not command the Grand Banks until the mid-18th century. Historian Christine Herrmann, examining the town's society between 1690 and 1750, finds that at the beginning community sensibility was weak in a town that was a loose agglomeration of individuals. Commerce and capitalism transformed the society, making it much more closely knit with extended families interlocking and business relationships. Early Gloucestermen cleared great swaths of the forest of Cape Ann for farm and pasture land, using the timber to build structures as far away as Boston. The rocky moors of Gloucester remained clear for two centuries until the forest reclaimed the land in the 20th century. The inland part of the island became known as the Commons, the Common Village, or Dogtown. Here small dwellings lay scattered amongst the boulders and swamps, along roads that meandered through the hills. These dwellings were at times little more than shanties, only one was even two stories tall. Despite their size, several generations of families were raised in such houses. One feature of the construction of these houses was that under one side of the floor was dug a cellar hole, supported by a foundation of laid stone. These cellar holes are still visible today along the trails throughout the inland part of Gloucester, they, and some walls, are all that remain of the village there. The town grew, 
and eventually colonists lived on the opposite side of the Anisquam River. This, in a time of legally mandated church attendance, was a long way to walk, or row, on a Sunday morning. In 1718 the settlers on the opposite shore of the river split off from the first parish community at the Green and formed Second Parish. While still part of the town of Gloucester, the people of Second, or West, Parish now constructed their own meeting house and designated their own place of burial, both of which were in the hills near the marshes behind Winga Urshik Beach. The meeting house is gone now, but deep in the woods on the Second Parish Road, Old Thompson Road, one can still find the stone foundation and memorial altar as well as scattered stones of the abandoned burial ground. Other parts of town later followed suit. Third Parish, in northern Gloucester, was founded in 1728. Fourth Parish split off from First Parish in 1742. Finally, in 1754, the people of Sandy Bay split off from First Parish to found Fifth Parish. The Sandy Bay Church founding was the last religious reordering of the colonial period. All of these congregations still exist in some form, with the exception of Fourth Parish, the site of whose meeting house is now a highway. At one time, there was a thriving granite industry in Gloucester. Gloucester is located at 42 degrees 37 26 and 70 degrees 40 32 W, 42.62389 degrees north 70.67556 degrees west, 42.62389, minus 70.67556. According to the United States Census Bureau, The city has a total area of 41.5 square miles, of which 26.2 square miles is land and 15.3 square miles, or 36.88%, is water. Gloucester occupies most of the eastern end of Cape Ann, except for the far tip, which is the town of Rockport. The city is split in half by the Anisquam River, which flows northward through the middle of the city into Ipswich Bay. At its south end it is connected to Gloucester Harbor by the Blindman Canal. The land along the northwestern shore of the river is marshy, creating several small islands. Gloucester Harbor is divided into several smaller coves, including the western harbor and the inner harbor. The eastern side of Gloucester Harbor is divided from the rest of Massachusetts Bay by Eastern Point, extending some two miles outward from the mainland. There are several parks in the city, the largest of which are Ravenswood Park, Stage 4 Park, and Mount Ann Park. Dot Gloucester lies between Ipswich Bay to the north and Massachusetts Bay to the south. The city is bordered on the east by Rockport, and on the west by Ipswich, Essex and Manchester by the sea to the west. Gloucester lies 16 miles east-northeast of Salem and 31 miles northeast of Boston. Gloucester lies at the eastern terminus of Route 128, which ends at Route 127A. Route 127A begins at Route 127 just east of the Route 128 terminus, heading into Rockport before terminating there. Route 127 enters from Manchester by the sea before crossing the Blindman Canal and passing through downtown towards Rockport. It then re-enters Gloucester near Folly Cove, running opposite of its usual north-south orientation towards its terminus at Route 128. Route 133 also terminates within the city, entering from Essex and terminating just west of the Blindman Canal at Route 127. Besides the bridge over the Blindman Canal, there are only two other connections between the eastern and western halves of town, the A. Piat Andrew Memorial Bridge, carrying Route 128, and the Boston and Main Railroad Bridge, just north of the Blindman Canal. Gloucester is home to the Cape Ann Transportation Authority, which serves the city and surrounding towns. Two stops, in West Gloucester and in downtown Gloucester, provide access to the Newburyport slash Rockport line of the MBTA commuter rail, which extends from Rockport along the North Shore to Boston's North Station. The nearest airport is the Beverly Municipal Airport, with the nearest national and international air service being at Boston's Logan International Airport. As of the 2000 census, there were 30,273 people, 12,592 households, and 7,895 families residing in the city. The population density was 1,166.0 people per square mile. There were 13,958 housing units at an average density of 537.6 per square mile. The racial makeup of the city was 91.99% white, 6.61% African American, 0.72% Asian, 0.12% Native American, 0.02% Pacific Islander, 0.50% from other races, and 1.03% from two or more races. 
Hispanic or Latino of any race were 15.48% of the population. 22.6% were of Italian, 16.2% Irish, 11.1% English, 8.5% Portuguese and 7.1% American ancestry according to Census 2000. There were 12,592 households out of which 27.6% had children under the age of 18 living with him, 48.8% were married couples living together, 10.6% had a female householder with no husband present, and 37.3% were non-families. 30.7% of all households were made up of individuals and 11.4% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.38 and the average family size was 3.00. In the city, the population was spread out with 22.0% under the age of 18, 6.5% from 18 to 24, 29.9% from 25 to 44, 26.1% from 45 to 64, and 15.6% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 40 years. For every 100 females, there were 92.0 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 88.8 .8 males. The median income for a household in the city was $58,568, and the median income for a family was $80,970 from a 2007 estimate. That males had a median income of $41,465 versus $30,566 for females. The per capita income for the city was $25,595. About 7.1% of families and 8.8% of the population were below the poverty line, including 11.8% of those under age 18 and 11.2% of those age 65 or over. Gloucester is a city, with a strong mayor-council system. The current mayor of Gloucester is Sefatia Romeo the can as of February 15, 2015. The mayor is also reserved a seat on the school committee. City offices are elected every two years. In 2007 over 40 people ran for the 15 elected seats in the city's government. The city is divided into five wards, each split into two precincts. As late as the mid-20th century Gloucester had as many as eight wards, but they have been since reorganized into current number. On November 7, 2005, incumbent Mayor John Bell was re-elected to a third term in office. He stated his intention not to run for re-election and stepped down in January 2008. On November 6, 2007 Carolyn Kirk was elected as the mayor of Gloucester. Kirk resigned in December 2014 to take a position in the administration of Massachusetts Governor Charlie Baker. Sefatiolikin was then voted to be the interim mayor of Gloucester by the city council. Sefatia was elected to serve a full two-year term on November 2, 2015. The following schools are located within the Gloucester Public Schools District. Gordons of Gloucester, Mighty Mac, Gloucester Engineering, Good Harbor Consulting, Para Research, APAC, CIRC, and Varian Semiconductor are among the companies based in Gloucester. The town was an important shipbuilding center, and the first schooner was reputedly built there in 1713. The community developed into an important fishing port, largely due to its proximity to George's Bank and other fishing banks off the east coast of Nova Scotia and Newfoundland. Gloucester's most famous seafood business was founded in 1849 as John Pugh and Sons. It became Gordon Pugh Fisheries in 1906, and in 1957 changed its name to Gordon's of Gloucester. The iconic image of the Gordon's fisherman, and the products he represents, are known throughout the country and beyond. Besides catching and processing seafood, Gloucester is also a center for research on marine life and conservation. Ocean Alliance is headquartered in the city. In the late 19th century Gloucester saw an influx of Portuguese and Italian immigrants seeking work in the town's flourishing fishing industry and a better life in America. Some present-day fishermen of Gloucester are descendants of these early immigrants. The strong Portuguese and Italian influence is evident in the many festivals celebrated throughout the year. During the Catholic celebration, St. Peter's Fiesta, relatives of fishermen past and present carry oars representing many of the fishing vessels which call Gloucester their home. St. Peter is the patron saint of the fishermen. Gloucester remains an active fishing port, and in 2013 ranked 21st in the United States with respect to fish landings. Doubt in that year 62 million pounds of fish were caught bringing in an estimated $42 million. Gloucester's scenic beauty, active fishing industry and renowned arts community have attracted and inspired painters since the early 19th century, as they do today.
The first Gloucester painter of note was native-born Fitzhenry Lane, whose home still exists on the waterfront. The premier collection of his works is in the Cape Ann Museum, which holds 40 of his paintings and 100 of his drawings. Other painters subsequently attracted to Gloucester include, William Morris Hunt, Winslow Homer, Child Hassam, John Twachman, Frederick Mulhaupt, Frank Duvnek, Cecilia Bow, Jane Peterson, Gordon Grant, Harry Demain, Emile Gropa, Stuart Davis, Joseph Solomon, Mark Rothko, Milton Avery, Barnett Newman, William Meyerowitz, Joan Lockhart, Teresa Bernstein, and Marsden Hartley, and artists from the Ashkent School such as Edward Hopper, John Sloan, Robert Henry, William Glackens, and Maurice Prendergast. Smith Cove is home to the Rocky Neck Art Colony, the oldest art colony in the country. Folly Cove was the home of the Folly Cove designers, influential to this day in print design and technique. Several important sculptors have lived and worked in East Gloucester, Enisquim, Lanesville, and Folly Cove. They include George Ahrens, Anna Hyatt Huntington, Charles Grifly, Paul Manship and his daughter-in-law Margaret Cassidy Manship, Walker Hancock, and George Demetrios. In addition, Aristides Demetrios grew up in Folly Cove. Gloucester is the birthplace of Marvel character Dane Whitman whose superhero alter ego is the Black Knight. National Geographic Channel films its reality television series Wicked Tuna, documenting and chronicling the lives of commercial tuna fishermen, and the lucrative bluefin tuna industry, in Gloucester. Gloucester's most noted landmark is the Harborside Man at the Wheel statue, dedicated to they that go down to the sea in ships, which is a quote from Psalm 107 23-32. Gloucester has a professional theatre company known as the Gloucester Stage Company, which stages five to eight plays each season, primarily in the summer months. Located in East Gloucester, the theatre sits at water's edge overlooking Smith's Cove. It was founded in 1979 by local arts and business leaders to encourage playwrights and their new works. Israel Horowitz, who founded the GSC, was also its artistic director from 1979 to 2006. Over the years, plays developed at the Gloucester Stage Company have gone on to critical acclaim and popular success, on and off Broadway, nationally and internationally. The group draws theatergoers from Gloucester, neighboring North Shore districts, and the greater Boston area, as well as seasonal residents and tourists. Gloucester's largest annual event is St. Peter's Fiesta, sponsored by the local Italian-American community. It is held the last weekend in June, which is typically the weekend closest to the Saints Feast Day. Preceded by a nine-day novena of prayers, the festival highlights include the blessing of the fleet and the greasy pole contest. The city has much significant architecture, from pre-revolutionary houses to the hilltop 1870 City Hall, which dominates the town and harbor. It also has exotic waterfront homes now converted to museums, including Beauport built 1907-1934 by designer Henry Davis Sleeper in collaboration with local architect Halfton Hansen, said to raise eclecticism to the level of genius. In addition, it has Hammond Castle, built 1926-1929 by inventor John Hayes Hammond Jr., as a setting for his collection of Roman, medieval and Renaissance artifacts. Gloucester was also the home of feminist writer Judith Sargent Murray and John Murray, the founder of the first Universalist Church in America. Their house still exists as the Sargent House Museum. Many museums are located in the main downtown area, such as the Cape Ann Museum, and the Museum Slash Aquarium Maritime Gloucester, and the Museum Slash Aquarium Maritime Gloucester, and the Museum Slash Aquarium Maritime Gloucester.